Hello developers. Today we are going to build movie recommendation system with Pandas. By the end of this video, you will have a working recommendation system that you can customize and use in your own projects. Have you ever questioned how Netflix makes recommendations based on the movies that you have already seen? Or how can choices like frequently brought together appear on e-commerce website? Although they might appear like straightforward choices, but a sophisticated statistical method is used to forecast these suggestions. Based on the similarity between the items or the similarity between the users who previously evaluated those entities, a recommender system uses a statistical algorithm to forecast user's rating for a specific entity. The assumption is that users of like category will rate a group of items similarly. You will also build a similar solution today. Simple code snippet exercises on joining or merging data frames using pandas how you can sort a data frame and also an exercise on removing duplicate rows in a data frame. We'll be using a candy kit to build this solution. Now what is a candy kit? Candy one click install kit gives you ready to deploy solution with a complete source code. You can access many more ready to deploy candy kits on augmented reality, artificial intelligence, blockchain, gaming and many more on Candy. Today we'll be using a popular Candy kit which is movie recommendation system one click install kit. Now this kit is open source with a permissive license that means you can freely edit, customize and share your own solution. Let's get started then. Over to you Pooja for a hands-on walkthrough. Hello, hope you are excited to build your own movie recommendation system. To build a simple AI-based movie recommendation system, you need the following. First, you need to have an understanding of Python programming language, an IDE like Jupyter or PyCharm to write your Python code. Third, you will need to have the essential libraries like Pandas and NumPy imported. Everything that you need is already available in the Candy Kit. So let's get started. Let's start by installing the Candy Kit. Check the description for the link to the installable. This will set up a working sandbox application with all the needed prerequisites and resources. You can download the installer here and you can follow the instructions here to set the kit up. Now you can pause this video and complete the installation. Once ready, hit resume and we'll jump right into building a movie recommendation system. Hope you all are set. If you have successfully set up the kit, you will see this Jupyter notebook open in front of you which has the movie recommender. But before we go ahead and discuss the code of the movie recommender, we will quickly do some simple code snippet exercises based on data analysis concepts that will help you get ahead in your journey of data analysis. So for that, I'll open a new Jupyter notebook and also head over to canny.openweaver.com. It helps you develop your application faster with some interesting code snippets that you can search here and find. So first of all, I would like to check for a function that can help me join two pandas data frame. So for that, I will put up a keyword as pandas data frame join and hit find. I will choose the code snippets. And here I would see that will be most suitable for me to showcase the same. So I'll choose this one from the different code snippets that are available. Simply copy it using this copy button. The dependent library is also mentioned here. We will copy paste this in this new notebook. And as we copy paste, we will just try to check if there is any requirement for correctness in the code. I see a missing brace. I will just add that to the print command here and now try and run this code. So as I run this code, I see that a data frame has been created, which has a left one with an IDE and a right one with the similar ID. So to be able to check these, I will separately print them, say print left, and I will for now comment this, rerun this. So I'll be able to see that the first data frame is created with three columns, ID, name, and subject ID, under which I have the name and the subject IDs respectively. 
and similarly i will also try to check this another data frame that was created so i see that i have a common column here which is ide and i want to merge on the ide column so for that i have used my import of the library pandas as pd so with pd dot merge this merge is an inbuilt aggregate function that is available i want to merge the left data frame as well as the right data frame and i want to merge it on which column i want to merge it on the ide column so with when i run this what it will do on the ide column the first entry in the left data frame was alex and in the right one was billy and respective subject ids will also be showcased and a merged or a joined data frame is what we can get with this simple code snippet that we copied from candy so now we would also want to do another interesting code snippet exercise so i'll go back to this platform and interestingly i would now want to sort my data frame so i'll put up a keyword as sort pandas data frame make a search as we make a search we see a simple code snippet here as well so i would just copy this one take it to my notebook add some cells as i copy paste this snippet here i see that the output is also added here i'll remove that output first and just cut this part and paste it in another cell pasting the rest of the part here so first i will run the above code wherein we have created a data frame df with three columns t s a d and let's just try to run this individual cell and see that this is the data frame with the index as a b c and further on this same df data frame we have applied the sort values and we want to sort it by the column t s okay by a particular feature which is t s and rest of it ascending through is a default value in place true kind which kind of a sorting you would like to do again quick sort is a default value and any position if there are any null values then you want to keep those null values at say last or the first is what we can enter here so i'll just remove this part as well because it has the output in the code snippet itself so now we see ts had 41 and 4 and now in the ascending order the sorting based on the ts is 1 4 and 40 so this is how just by finding some interesting snippets on the candy.openweaver.com we were able to perform the merging first and also able to do a sorting of a certain data frame that is being created you can tinker with the code that is already present that you can just copy paste and try and you know use it for your own application so now we will go and do an interesting third exercise wherein we will try to remove duplicate rows using pandas so we'll put up the query as remove duplicate rows of a data frame using pandas and as we make the search we'll see that we'll get a quick code snippet here which we can copy paste it into one of the cells we would just remove the output part and add the remaining code just the code in the next cell as well as the output here so we'll just see by running the cell that this are the three uh, rows as well as the columns which are created in the df data frame and this has uh, you know cat bat xyz this has toy flower abc and there is a repetition of a row here which has cat and bat as the repeated 
words in column one and column two. So we've used the D, you have used the drop duplicates on the data frame and have applied it on column one in column two. And we have said that as you apply or drop the duplicates here from these two columns, keep the first one itself. So let's see what happens in the result. So now we see that uh, the, this last row has been removed wherein we see duplicate we wherein we see duplicacy in the cat and bat. So this is how you can remove a duplicate row and uh, do this interesting snippet exercise. Amazingly simple manner. And now let's move to our uh, movie recommendation kit and understand uh, you know how you can create your own movie recommender yourself. First, we will import all the necessary libraries like the NumPy and Pandas. Since we are doing a simple movie recommendation using Pandas, we will first look forward what is the data set that we want to use here. So we have imported four data sets and stored them in a folder called data. So you can reference from there. Links.csv is a comma separated data set which has inputs or I would say which has columns of the IDs of movie on IMDB as well as the movie database. So these are the unique IDs based on which if you use the URL and this ID, you can actually navigate to a particular movie on IMDB as well as the popularly stored uh, movie database on the movie database website. Then you have fetch these movies.csv, which is another data set. This has columns uh, with the same movie ID, which we found in the links data set. And then these are the titles, which are also a combination of the year and the different genres, which are separated by pipe here for that particular movie. After that, we see that we have a ratings data set, which we will use to check the ratings for particular movie. And then we also see that the tags data set is there also there. So what concept we are using is we want to assume that if a certain user likes a set of movies, then there is also another person who likes one or movies which are part of the same set of movies which user A likes, then what we want that we want to find this collaborative similarity. A and B has a movie that they both like. Therefore, other movies from both A and B, you know, other movies which are part of the list of movies which A like or part of the movies which B like, you know, can have a probability of each other also liking the movies which they like individually, right? So we are trying to use this concept here. And that what we have done, we have done a merge of your ratings and the movies data set. So then we have this data frame where we have columns as movie ID will be the column on which we will do the merge. And then we will have title, genres, user ID, ratings and timestamp as the different feature columns. Then what we are trying to do, we have just picked up a, a title, stored it, and then created a list of uh, recommended movies. For a movie, we want to sort it by the rating. So multiple users have rated that same movie, right? So we want to then find who are those users who have rated, you know, or liked this movie maximum, or I would say highly rated that movie. So for user in movie uh, underscore uh, your data frame, we want to locate the top five users or the first five users who have highly rated a particular movie, right? And then what we are doing after uh, finding that five users for that particular, we want to find all the movies, all the movies for a particular user, right? And then we are storing those all rated movies by that user in the rated underscore movies. Then what we also want to do so for a particular user, we are now trying to sort the list or sort the uh, data set in a way that we get the highly rated or the biggest rated movies by a particular user. And then what you are going to do, we will add these rated movies 
we will add these rated movies to this recommended uh, movies list and then we will try to use numpy and then just try to get the unique movies out of these and those unique movies are simply we are printing these unique movies here so now what we are doing we want to calculate the similarity on the genre feature so for that first we need to split our different genres based on who are which are represented in a column with this pie so we will split it and then here again we are saying that for toy story uh, i want to check what are the different genres that are available so for toy story you have uh, adventure animation children comedy fantasy so it it falls down into multiple genres right so we are first uh, splitting it uh, into this and then we have also taken our scores so for a movie which is in recommended movies what we want to do we first want to check this particular movie uh, by splitting it itself and then assigning initially the score of 0 initially we are not giving any score because we want to assign this similarity score for a particular movie how similar it is to uh, you know the movie that we have defined here which is uh, under the t underscore variable then we want to see how many movies can be found in the movie genres movie genres had all the genres that we had splitted and stored here so we were basically splitting it and storing it here based on the recommended movies we already have our recommended movies from top and then we just split it their genres as well and then we are now giving an a score to all those what we are doing we are putting a score on the different movies which can be found in these movie genres which are part of the recommended movies after that you are simply then uh, assigning the score from here uh, to that particular set of movies which have been found from the recommended movies and based on the score now you will reverse or basically Uh, in the descending order you are expecting to get all the recommended movies those are the same recommended movies but now these movies are weighted or i would say the closer a particular movie is say uh, american tale based on the genre is most more genres of this american tale are aligning with toy story so this is come top on the list then willy and wonky and the chocolate factory then princess bride then iron giant and then you know 101 101 dalmatians has fallen like this so basically this is how your uh, recommendations are uh, shown for similarity based on two or multiple users uh, finding or rating a certain movie highly and then we have also tried to put or give a certain score and then based on that score in the decreasing order of recommendations we are recommending you movies here so this is a interesting use case which is a very simple one also then you can apply deep learning to this you can apply so much more uh, in terms of uh, ai to this so this one is a simpler use case based on your pandas itself so to customize it basically you can take it further by applying deep learning by applying uh, you know any other techniques in fact uh, weighted average is one then correlation is another then there are multiple techniques that you can use for movie recommendations so maybe in the long run we can discuss it uh, further how you can customize this uh, movie recommend recommender system using pandas where you also apply machine learning to it so hope this helps and uh, anyone who is starting their journey can benefit from this thank you congratulations you have your working movie recommender now hope you found this session useful you can find the link to the movie recommendation system kit and many more ready to deploy kits in the description below head over to candy to build incredible projects on augmented reality artificial intelligence blockchain and many more try out candy kits now hit that subscribe button and join us at the open weaver community of developers to learn more and build many more incredible projects thank you for watching this session till the next one bye bye